What's up, YouTube? My name is David. And today I am going to be fulfilling a request that many of you, honestly, more of you than ever, have requested in my comments. This is going to be a review react sort of video on Enel's uh, beatbox routine that he put out earlier this year through Beatbox International. His routine is called Feel My Bass and I have heard it's pretty crazy. Funny story, I haven't actually listened to it yet, but I have talked to Enel on Instagram. He messaged me a while ago and he was like, yo, can you help me? <laughs> we just talked about bass stuff for a while, I guess, and maybe I'll have to hit him up at the end of this video. Dang, I'll have to uh, message him at the end of this video and tell him that I'm reviewing his uh, Feel My Bass video and see what he says. So yeah, stick around to the end uh, and maybe I'll have like a little chat with Anel. Thank you all for the love on my recent videos. I'm glad to be uh, getting back into it, making videos again, and it really helps a lot to see comments about what you want to see from me because, I mean, I made this video because you wanted to see Anel on this channel. So here I am doing a video uh, of Anel. So if there are other uh, beatboxers you want me to react to or other cool things you want to hear me talk about, uh, you know, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. I think it's about that time. Let's put on some headphones and check out Anel's Feel My Bass. I'm ready for this. I'm sure I've been seeing comments about this video for many months now, so I've been putting it off for too long. I'm very excited to check this out. So let's see what Anel has for us here. That beatbox international intro. Yo, this is Enel from Rockon ZB Big Shot to Beatbox International. <clears throat> Feel my pace. International throwdown. We held on our Discord server on the 12th. There are large cash prizes to be won. Okay, so obviously that was pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, big shout out to Anel. That was really amazing. There are a few things to unpack here. I really loved how simple this routine was. There are a lot of routines out there that are just full of this and then hit you with that and then drop to this and then mix it and all that. But this is very simple. I mean, the number of techniques are limited in this video, but the way he does them, uh, how clean he does them and the way he delivers them are the reasons this video is so hard hitting and so cool and has really blown up on YouTube. It's got nearly half a million views. I mean, that's, that's pretty great for a beatbox routine. So the main feature in this video obviously is his bass. He's definitely using a throat bass. He actually showed me his throat bass on Instagram a little bit and I've seen a lot of people comment that he has sort of a robotic uh, almost computer generated sound uh, where it flips between kind of different registers of his throat bass and what he's actually doing is flipping between uh, what beatboxers like to call throat bass and vibration bass. It's the same thing when I flip between uh, the first subharmonic and the second subharmonic. Oh. Oh. 
gets to the first subharmonic of throw bass, flipping to the second. And it really sounds similar to when you are kind of like flipping from chest voice to falsetto. If you're singing, there's like a, a passaggio or a break between the two that uh, is really pronounced. And emphasizing that break or that flip between the two sounds really cool. It sounds uh, really robotic sounding in this sort of setting. So that is awesome to see him do that. He has incredible control over that flip. I don't think I've heard anyone do that that well before. I can do it in subharmonics. Uh, but not in throat bass with, you know, the false folds being activated at the same time. I guess this is a good time to uh, remind people that this is similar to what Indicator is using for his alien bass. I think he called it sub poly bass. Oh, place I am an alien. I got that alien bass. I am an alien. Super crazy technique. Indicator is using the third subharmonic of throat bass. So the first is kind of what Enel starts with, and then he flips to the second for the, the sub bass part. And then Indicator is just below what Enel is doing on the second. It's below vibration bass. So just keep that in mind. Back to Enel in this video. So I've been studying beatboxing a little bit more, and it appears to me he's doing something uh, for the kick and snare called the uh, BMG uh, kick snare or the spit snare. It's a technique that only uses the air that's in your mouth to uh, push out pressured air through your lips to create the snare and kick noise. Doing that frees up your airstream and allows you to continue a bass or a drone noise through your nasal cavity. So he's definitely doing that with his uh, throat bass and uh, vibration bass on this video, but he's doing it really, really well. There's no apparent break. And this brings me to probably my favorite part of this video, his delivery. Look at how this man is completely stone-faced throughout this video. It almost looks unenthusiastic. It almost looks like he's bored with himself, but I think in reality, that's part of what makes this video so great. I'm going to call this the OP effect. Think of it like Saitama in One Punch Man. Anytime he does uh, anything, really, he, you know, he has an incredible amount of force, an incredible amount of power. He is OP, yet he is pretty much bored with whatever he's doing and he shows it in his face. He always looks stone-faced, he always looks stoic, like he's hardly trying or exerting any energy. This is the OP effect. Enel in this video is giving us the same effect. He's delivering with his mouth, he's delivering with the sound more, more than anything else. Ooh. He's giving us a delivery with the sound, waiting for us to react, not, you know, jumping around, using his hands, forcing us to react to it, overhyping us with uh, hand motions and things, which I think is cool. But the fact that he is putting the hyping responsibility on the listener solely is super impressive because obviously it works. That delivery is, I think, what makes this video extra special. I did, I did talk to him on Instagram a bit before he messaged me, I had some questions about uh, what his bass actually was, and I kind of explained it to him a bit. So let me message him real quick and uh, see if he can help me out. I'm really curious to learn a little bit about that kick and snare he's doing um, while he's sustaining that bass. Uh, so let me let me ask him real quick. He was messaging me uh, about, like asking about his bass, like the technical stuff behind it. So that was kind of cool to see. Yo, what's up? I, uh, I finally did a review video of your Feel My Bass video. Uh, that was crazy. I just watched it for the first time and it was crazy, dude. Like it was amazing. Um, I have I have a question about your kick and snare. Uh, I'm wondering how you how you do that. Is that is that like the spit snare sort of thing where you uh, keep the sound of the bass going through your nose and just use the air in your mouth to make the kick and the snare? Let's see what he says. I'm not doing the normal kick. Uh, it's not too too strong it's like uh... yeah. okay <laughs> okay that makes sense I got you thank you bro shout out to an L <laughs> get it? How'd I do? <laughs> Dope. All right. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Big shout out to Anel. Big shout out to Beatbox International for putting together some amazing videos like this. Your audio is next level and your edits are getting pretty awesome too. So, so keep it up, you guys. You're putting out fantastic content. This video is a product of my YouTube comment section continually reminding me that I needed to react to Anel Feel My Bass. So thank you to you guys for letting me know what you want to hear. It's important to see comments about what you want to hear because I have ideas. I have, you know, things that I'm coming up with that are unexpected, but it's nice 
nice to have uh, reminders of what you all want to see from me. Thank you all for sticking. Ooh, sorry. My Newman. Got to treat the German piece of equipment nicely. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to put out at least one video a week now from now on for the foreseeable future. Let's see how long that lasts until I uh, go completely insane doing video editing on my own. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I post on there a lot more than anything else. And uh, yeah, have a good day.